Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to talk about what exactly break-in time is and how you should go about breaking in a brand new pair of soccer cleats slash football boots. This is something that I get asked about a lot on the channel. So I figured I would make a video to clarify this because this is a term that I use pretty regularly in my reviews when talking about all of these new shoes. So what exactly is break-in time? Break-in time is the amount of time that it takes for you to essentially become comfortable in or get used to the feel of a brand new pair of shoes. Some people call it wearing them in. There's different terms for it, but break-in time I would say is the most common. So how long does it take for you to break in a given pair of soccer shoes? Really that's something that will vary from pair to pair and it'll also vary from person to person. So let's say for example, if I have a pair of Nike Mercurial Superfly 5s and I wear them for about six hours until I feel like I'm 100% comfortable in the shoes, if you get a pair of Superfly 5s and wear them for six hours, you might feel like they still need break in time. You might've felt more comfortable sooner than I did. It's something that'll really vary from person to person, mainly depending on how the shoes feel on your feet, the shape of your foot, all that kind of stuff. There's a certain point where once you actually have the shoes and they're on your feet, you kind of have to use your own judgment. So that's a lot of what break in time is. Judging what is comfort on your own foot, what feels good, what feels bad. It's something that you have to decide on your own and really only you can know based on what you're feeling specifically. So now that we've established what break-in time is and that it's something that you have to use your own judgment on, I can't tell you whether or not a shoe feels comfortable to you. That's something you have to decide for yourself. How do you actually go about breaking in a brand new pair of shoes? What's the best way to do this? Now, I'm gonna start off by saying I made a video on the hot water trick not too long ago. If you wanna see that video where I talk about why the hot water trick isn't necessarily something that I would recommend doing, I'll leave a pop-up on screen, go ahead and check it out because that is a big common misconception when it comes to breaking in a brand new pair of shoes. You don't necessarily wanna do it as quickly as possible. And again, I talk about the details on the hot water trick, the pros and cons of it, in that particular video. So go ahead and check it out. So you're not using hot water, how do you break in your shoes? The most common thing, what I would recommend doing and what I still do to this day because I regularly break in brand new shoes because I'm testing all these new products is wear them around the house. If you're just sitting at your desk doing your homework, if you're just walking around, if you're just doing whatever you're doing, put your shoes on, tie them up and wear them. Wearing the shoes and getting used to how they feel on your feet is pretty much half the battle here in terms of breaking in a brand new pair of shoes. Now this isn't necessarily going to take you the whole way, it's just a matter of getting more familiar with how the shoes will feel on your foot. When you wear, wear a brand new pair of shoes for the first time, sometimes they can feel great at first, sometimes there's certain things about the fit that can be a little bit annoying, a little bit bothersome, that you're just gonna take some getting used to uh, and it's just gonna take time in terms of wearing them as much as possible. But again, wearing them around your house very, very slow, you're just walking or sitting or not even moving at all, that is something that's gonna go a long way in terms of getting used to how the shoe feels. Even, uh, it's something that you'll wear the shoe for a couple of hours, even not doing anything, and you'll notice certain aspects of the shoe that perhaps feel a little bit uncomfortable to you, and that's something that you can definitely go ahead and look out for when you go to actually wear them for the first time. Now, speaking of wearing them for the first time, there's two main things that I would say you need to avoid when breaking in a brand new pair of shoes, and that is one, wearing proper socks. Avoid wearing ankle, ankle cut socks or low cut socks in general. I'm gonna show you guys an example on screen in the video right now, but you wanna avoid any kind of sock that's cut very low around the ankle, especially around the back of the heel and the Achilles tendon area. If your sock is sliding down to where you have bare skin along the back of the shoe, the heel liner of the shoe, no matter what the material is, if it's a low cut shoe or a mid cut shoe, I can almost guarantee you that if you wear those shoes in a high intensity type situation, you're more than likely going to get some kind of a blister or experience some kind of discomfort because of the low cut socks. Wear full length soccer socks, wear crew socks, where your ankle and heel area is going to be covered even if the socks slip down a little bit because that's something that's inevitable while you're running around. So ankle cut socks in a pair of soccer cleats, not just when breaking them in, but in general, 
is not really a great idea. The second thing to look out for when breaking in a brand new pair of shoes or wearing your new shoes for the first time is avoid extreme weather conditions. And I know this may sound a little bit silly, but if it's an extremely hot day, 100 plus degrees, or if it's a really cold day uh, where the shoes are gonna be kind of brittle on your feet, it's probably not a good time to break in your shoes. In the cold, for obvious reasons, heat is really what's going to make the shoes feel softer and kind of break them in, if you will. So if it's really, really cold, obviously not having enough heat can make the shoes feel more rigid and it can kind of uh, make the break-in time not as seamless. Or if it's really, really hot, having all of that extra sweat and moisture inside of the shoe while you're breaking them in is going to make you much more prone to getting some kind of a blister or experiencing discomfort in general. So if at all possible, and I know everybody lives in different climates and stuff like that, avoid really, really severe weather, either really hot or really cold. Now, when you go to wear your shoes for the first time, another thing to consider is that you wanna take it easy. I see so many people getting brand new shoes and wearing them straight into a game or wearing them straight into a free kick session or something like that. That is not a good idea. You wanna start at really low intensity type movements. Walking, a little bit of jogging, passing the ball, juggling is something that I really like to do when breaking in a brand new pair of shoes because you're one, breaking the shoes in, you're heating them up a little bit because you are moving around, but you're not doing something that's so high intensity that you're gonna have issues with rubbing and general discomfort, which you will get if you put on a brand new pair of shoes and go and take shots and start sprinting and making quick changes of direction. That's something that you really want to avoid doing until you start to get used to how the shoe feels and really feel like you're comfortable, like there's nothing about the shoe that's bothering you. And again, this kind of circles back to having your own personal opinion and kind of judging the shoe and how it feels on your foot on your own. Nobody else can make that call for you. And really the last thing to consider when breaking in a brand new pair of shoes or wearing them especially for the first time is take note of how they actually feel. A lot of people will wear a brand new pair of shoes for the first time and start to feel discomfort and continue to play until they feel really uncomfortable and continue to play until they have a blister and they're completely unbearable to wear. Blisters, and this is something I've talked about in my videos before, aren't instantaneous. They take a little bit of time to develop. It's rubbing over and over and over again to the point where the skin has essentially rubbed off and you've created a blister. So if you feel discomfort when you're wearing these shoes or when you're during, during the break-in process of kind of wearing a brand new pair of shoes, it's really, really important to use your own judgment that when you start to feel some discomfort, take them off, put on an old pair of boots or maybe take a pair of trainers or running shoes that you have with you that are already broken in, put those on and continue your session. Don't wear your brand new shoes to the point where they're so uncomfortable that they've caused, your, it caused an injury. A blister kind of counts as an injury. It's something you definitely need to avoid. So again, use your own judgment. Really take note of how a brand new pair of shoes feel on your feet, especially when you're wearing them for the first time. You don't have to get blisters when breaking in a pair of shoes. If you do get a blister, it's more so your fault than the fault of the shoes. So that about sums it up. That is what break-in time is and how you should go about breaking in a brand new pair of shoes. Take it easy, take your time and use your own judgment. Note what feels good, note what feels bad and make sure that you're paying attention while you're wearing your shoes. Don't wear them when they start to feel uncomfortable and wear them to the point where they're extremely uncomfortable and you've caused yourself an injury or a blister. Blisters are not a necessary evil when it comes to breaking in a brand new pair of shoes. Please, please, please keep that in mind. So if you have any questions at all on this topic or any questions regarding anything that I talked about in today's video, leave your questions down below in the comments and I will do my best to get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.